This is an unboxing of a Celestron uh, C90 uh, Microsoft of Cassegrain uh, uh, telescope. Uh, I did a lot of research and uh, I wanted something that uh, will not be a dust collector. I had telescopes in the past and I've seen others also have telescopes. And uh, the telescopes usually end up uh, being not used because they're so cumbersome, especially the tube and uh, mounting of them. Uh, that makes them difficult to use, to carry, to take wherever you want to go. In Britain, we, we can. So, uh, something that we can use is the best telescope. If it, it is a dust collector, it's not a good telescope. So, I have bought this telescope uh, for £165. And uh, I just went, I didn't order it online or anything, I just went to the retailer and looked at it and about it. That's it. And now I'm going to unbox it. Okay, this is the telescope and I'm going to the box of the telescope and I'm going to open it. Okay, it looks well packed and uh, inside the box, oh, there is another box inside. So, let us look. This is a Celestron C90 Mac, which is a standing for Maxitov. Uh, spotting the scope as they call it. This is one of the most versatile telescopes you can have. A telescope that is versatile means you can just put it in a bag, take it away with you, or take it, put it in the car, go to a dark site, or a park, or somewhere, or allotment. Uh, set it up, watch, then come. Even you can do it in your, from the comfort of your home. You know, sitting in the living room, we do usually don't have much space unlike uh, what it was in the past. So you can sit in the warmth of your home and just uh, look through the double glazed window. <laughs> that's, that's what's the purpose. And I liked it especially because I saw several videos and there was videos that showed me that actually the optical the quality of the telescope was really good. Um, the optical quality of the telescope was very good. We could easily see the diffraction patterns on the source uh, light source like a uh, like a star, like a Sirius. And also I liked it because this uh, angle of the um, uh, erect image diagonal, which makes it actually, you can see the images upright instead of the upside down with the normal astronomical telescope, is at an angle that is not 90 degrees. So you actually are more comfortable looking at that. I have worked with other ones that was 90 degree ones. It's not very easy. This is more uh, ergonomic to see. So the well-packed, uh, telescope, the box, inside a box, and now let's go what is see and to see what is inside. Okay, now this is the box. I've removed the outer box from the actual box, and it looks it's like shoe box, large shoe box, and uh, all the specifications is written here. Ideal para observer. Oh no, that's in not in English. I will go in the English version. Yeah, the English version has written. Perfect for uh, outdoor and land and wildlife observation as well as celestial viewings. Multi-coated optics, which is very important. Microsoft of Castle Grain makes it very short, although it is three times folded on itself to make this size. It's about 30 centimeter. So that is practically you have a tube which is folded. Originally it was 90 centimeter, around one meter. And now it is only one foot or 30 centimeter. That makes it really compact. It has a T adapter thread. It has a 32 millimeter eyepiece, 45 degrees erect, erect image diagonal. So the image you can get with this is really good. Uh, it's good for watching the planets and the moons and the, and uh, the moons of them if you want, for example, Jupiter moons. The Saturn, rings of Saturn, and uh, for the Uranus and Neptune probably even you can spot it. But Jupiter, moon also, and very good. Uh, it has a lifetime warranty also, and it is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. So, and uh, let's just see what is inside it. Okay, I've turned the telescope uh, box and I can see there is a bag here also. What is that? Also includes water resistant backpack. Oh, it has a backpack. So let me open this. Oh, I'm getting excited now. It's really versatile. Okay, now I have uh, opened the box. Oh, look at this beautiful backpack. This really good sized backpack. Everything comes in this bag. 
it's black colored looks good quality and uh, I have to use both hands to lift it from inside the box oh I must say I didn't expect it this one this is really good it's a backpack it has a proper oh proper straps you can put it on your shoulder carry it to the field and then wherever you want you can just uh, set it up uh, let me see okay. oh, look. Lovely. What is this? This is a bushel for it. Max a 12 telescope. Okay, that's a bushel. Then there is a bubble wrap something inside. Try not to take it out. Okay, oh, I think that's the main telescope, which I will open in a minute. But I feel that there is something heavy in this also yet remained. Let me open it. Oh, it has compartments. If, if, if the light lets you see, there's a one compartment here, bigger compartment here is for the, the actual telescope itself. Tube assembly. And this is what comes inside it. This is lovely bag. Lovely, lovely. Like a camera box. Camera back it's properly pat padded so this is uh, another packaging inside it bubble wrapped I must say I'm really impressed with the quality it's a gift box and uh, the rest of it here oh I can see from outside here there is a lens cleaner and what is the rest of it let me see okay I have now removed the sellotape and you can see what is inside Ooh. Okay. This is like a bag actually. Okay, oh, I can see it's really sturdy, heavy eyepiece. Oh, I like that. That's one of these good eyepieces. It's heavy, it has a chunk and weight. Oh, that's the uh, spotting scope. And oh, it has a T bracket also. You can put it in the dovetail bracket. And what is this? Oh, that's the diagonal, uh, image erect diagonal. That's also something impressive. Now I have seen this. Let me go for the actual telescope. Uh, of course, I told that it has also lens cleaner. It's made of the yeah, made of the satin. I mean, it feels like satin, but probably is micro fiber. Okay. Now this is the time for the actual telescope itself. Let me. I have already removed the thing, and now it's well packed with the bubble wrap. Hmm, let me burst one of these. Oh, I cannot burst it. Oh, good quality. Doesn't burst easy. So it gives a good protection. This is a tube assembly, which is uh, with a uh, elastic band. Elastic bands in the UK are not rare. You don't see them in the shops anymore. I don't know what's wrong. You don't have any elastic band in shops. Okay, now I am going to open the packaging of this. So I take it from here, hoping that oh, the plastic came out. There is another second uh, wrapping here, which is sellotaped around the telescope. And oh, the wrapping came off. Protective paper, just a very soft paper, like Ch Japanese paper to give the scratch-free delivery and this is the beauty oh it's chunky it's, I can feel it's at least two kilo I think oh I'm really impressed and the first thing comes first is the warning do not use this telescope to look at the sun this is the um, um, spot in the scope or viewfinder mount and this is the actual tube of the telescope and the front of it, there's a lens cap, which I'm opening it now. Oh, look at this quality inside. It's amazing. I like that. There's a coated optics. Beauty. Yeah, you can see my camera and if I want to put the cap back even I can do it with one hand 
You cannot do that with a big telescope, <laughs> believe me. This is a telescope that hopefully we will use a lot. Uh, this telescope has a F number that is the focal. Uh, the focal uh, length of this is 1,250 milli millimeters, and uh, dimen uh, yeah, the dimension, the diameter of the main mirror, concave mirror, is 90 millimeter, 9 centimeter. Made in China, it's a Celestron, it's an American company, but everybody now makes in China. I have seen videos, and I know that for as a fact, that the American version of it had a really bad reputation for being, you know, different. They didn't have the quality control, proper quality control. And one telescope from this one to the next telescope that your friend may have bought it, where quality was so different, the image quality and everything. Now they have done it in China. A strict quality control in China has made sure that this telescope comes with a standard, high standard that we expect. And uh, of course, Celestron is an old hand. This telescope has been since 1970s in the market. And of course, this uh, model of it, this version of it, is a little longer than the original. The original was this amount. And you had to turn. And the original was shorter, and you have to actually, if you want to try to focus it, you have to use the actual um, body, the tube of the telescope, to uh, adjust the uh, magnification and uh, the rate of it. And with this one, you can actually do it with this. So all in all, for 165 pounds, I got this telescope. It's a small size, it means I can take it everywhere. <laughs> it's not very expensive, so I've not to spend a lot of money on this. So if I don't use it, I've not lost much compared to 2,000 pounds for a telescope. And I'm sure that I will be able to use it, uh, to be able to take it everywhere with me. Another thing is that uh, uh, it's quite a small. And the only thing is that, okay, I have to buy a mount. I have to provide it, I'll install it to a, on a mount. You can use a camera mount if you have. Anything that can take up to 2 kilograms or 2.2 2 .2 kilograms will be suitable for this. And uh, other than that, uh, that's, that's it, it's, it's complete. I like this diagonal. And open them actually. Okay, this is the viewfinder. This is the eyepiece. I must say that I'm really impressed. The higher the number of the millimeter of the eyepiece is, it means it has a, a larger view. Plocell is a very good brand. Uh, it's, it's, it's a um, arrangement of the lens. Four lenses at least are arranged in a way that give a very clear image from edge to edge. No, no aberration and no. Uh, no distortion in the image and 30 cent two centimeter is a good uh, wide angle relatively i can get a super plus hole which is uh, gives me around 40 millimeter of the uh, angle uh, 40 millimeter of the viewing angle that means also it's comfortable to look if you wear glasses in you know, i don't wear but if you wear that that helps you so it is easier to use it uh, but it, it brings eye comfort when you don't need to poke your the eyepiece as if into your eye to get too close to it. So this is a good eyepiece. It's quite chunky and heavy. And also this is the actual uh, diagonal, erect image diagonal. The good thing is that you can use this telescope for viewing the terrestrial of subjects, birds and buildings and from far away things and studying this, uh, you know. Uh, <clears throat> things in this uh, sky or the earth and uh, the image will be upright. Now I'm now going to assemble this and just show you the final assembly. Okay, I've now assembled the mount and the eyepiece and the diagonal and I must say I'm really impressed with the sturdiness and the chunkiness of this and the ease of movement of it. Uh, I had uh, seen at the other telescopes, Maxitov and other things, I tested them in the shop and I was trying to uh, come ac uh, across the ideal telescope and I found that this one was really best in the way of being chunky and uh, at the same time a uh, ability to manage it without much effort in the dark and carrying it. So now the spot is sp scope I have to put it I will do it now. Okay I must say that I'm really impressed the, with the ease of assembly of this it just took me less than five minutes to assemble all this. Now the spotting scope has gone into here, it's a simple dovetail 
assembly you just loosen up this screw and then slide the spot in the scope and it has also this uh, bracket uh, at the bottom but which can go to the mount i will show you the mount later i have i have a mount for this proper mount and uh, i'm really impressed with the quality of this i can't hold it in my you cannot say with many telescopes that but i can hold this 90 millimeter main mirror telescope in, in one hand easy and the good thing is that immediately i can put it in the back easy as that that's it done in the bag ready to go you cannot say that about any other telescope <laughs> not, not easy yeah the telescopes entered the 21st century this uh, system works without wire, wireless, completely wireless. Just uh, uses the Wi-Fi to move. And if I attach a camera to, to the telescope, I can just take pictures from my mobile. <laughs> That's amazing. Welcome to the 21st century. Finally. This is a Celestron C90 Mac, Mac sort of telescope. I was uh, using, after a long time that I didn't use it, I was using it again instead of a refractor, which is quite cumbersome and big. This group is really well suited for this table, and I use this uh, Dapsonian mount for uh, uh, Skywatcher Virtuoso uh, 101, I think. And uh, really nice with this uh, Dapsonia mount quite tiny and compact easy to maneuver I used my um, Scott watcher uh, Nirvana eyepiece 7 millimeter and uh, 4 millimeter easy you found a target but the trick with this is that because it has a closed tube and uh, practically there is a lot of air currents inside it so it needs a thermal equilibrium so you, I put it beside the windowsill here, and uh, it was during the day and night, it will cool down completely to the temperature outside almost. This is cold here. And when I was looking at the Jupiter, and uh, especially the Mars, I could see as much details at, as a refractor. And because this gives a practically magnification uh, higher than the refractor inheriting is a narrow field view telescope I could easily see more and all the features that you had to wait in the refractor to come to view here it was easy so the diameter of the objective is 90 millimeters so practically like a 90 millimeter refractor and the focal length is 1250s I think it's f15 or something like that and really like a planet killer planetary a telescope and I used it to this uh, run of the mill sky watcher uh, diagonal I could use a better one I have Teleview ever bright but that's that's good that's that's enough and I was amazed by the details I could see in the planet Mars after it cooled down it was amazing how I could see many things and uh, yeah I'm really impressed. Easy to maneuver because the Nirvana is 82 degrees. It took a long time for the planet drift from the field of view, and I could easily enjoy the view. So, impressive telescope for the price. Really impressed. And yeah, from now on, probably I will use this more. It's very compact, very easy, just easy, small, oh, so lovely. Maxotov was a great guy who invented this in the Russia. He didn't patent it because he wanted everybody to use this, being able to use it. Although he published his paper in English also, then referred to his work, he didn't patent it deliberately. So people can use it, like a Batinov, Batinov also, Batinov Mass is famous, is made by a Russian invented by Russian 
and unlike uh, uh, many other inventions that uh, other people make uh, especially in America they live on copyright practically they don't export anything he just uh, let the whole ast amateur astronomy community use it for free brilliant telescope Two convenient uh, tools together. Teleview Panoptic 24mm and Celestron C19 Maxitov. So easy to look, so easy and nice to enjoy. In the range of the 20 to 30, we don't have many known plus eyepieces that are really good and comfortable when have a wide angle. This has a 68 degree wide then they're quite light and small so nice at the same time uh, yeah has a 68 degree field of view and this telescope very easy tiny is like a refractor 90 millimeter refractor practically it's so easy I can put it in a Dobsonian mount any moment I want just point it at the stuff from the living room from the window and look at anything I was looking at the planet Mars now I'm looking at the Orion Nebula and I think if you can you can see the, the, the Sirius the star Sirius brightest star in the sky is also visible. Such a nice combination. Dobsonian mount, a C90 and a Telebio Panoptic is all you need.